name is Jordan Feigenbaum. I'm the creator of Barbell Medicine, and I'm gonna do a strongman competition. Yeah, so I normally compete in powerlifting. I just did powerlifting meet two weeks ago. Uh, never have done a strongman competition or anything like this before. Uh, that being said, I don't know, I had this competitive bug where I was like, I wanna compete in powerlifting again, and I wanna compete in strongman. Um, and I'd, I'd been wanting to do a strongman meet for a while just because the events look fun. You get to like display your strength in different ways. It looks like it's a fun thing to watch for the crowd. And I don't know, the idea of doing uh, these different types of uh, strength displays seems fun. I mean, you get to do axle bar deadlifts and clean and press and pull a truck. Like that all seems cool. And uh, I don't know, just been interested in, uh, in trying it. I've never trained any strongman stuff before, actually, which is interesting because uh, I used to train at this gym, Brute Strength Gym, in Norfolk, Virginia when I was in medical school, and they had all of the strongman stuff there. They had um, everything from like Fingal Fingers to the Apollon's Wheel to a Husafel Stone. They had regular stones and yokes and farmer's walk handles and frame carries and a car deadlift. And, I mean, literally everything, but I didn't touch any of that stuff. I think, in fact, one time uh, at the gym, some of the guys were goading me into do like a car deadlift. And I, I don't know, I, because they knew I was a decent puller, they're like, yeah, you know, fight him up, go on and do this car deadlift. And uh, luckily no video exists from that because it was not a good display of my strength. So, but I literally have never done a yoke, never uh, have done stones or anything like that up until two weeks ago when I started training for, uh, for the strongman meet. Yeah, so I uh, had a powerlifting meet, like I said, two weeks ago. And then since then, basically, got right back on the horse and started training. So I had a meet on Sunday and then Tuesday we went to Chicago and I started training again. I mean, it's still been squatting and deadlifting, um, but I have been squatting with the yoke, uh, the yoke attachments if I can find them. Um, and I've been doing more reps because I'm trying to build some capacity to walk with this heavy yoke. Um, so I've been basically working up to a heavy set of five and then doing some sets of 10. Uh, for back off work and then all the pressing work I've been doing with uh, has been mostly with an axle. I think I've bench pressed once in the last two weeks, uh, something like that. And then but everything else has been either axle press or axle clean and press or uh, something like that. And I've, I've used the football bar, Swiss bar to bench press once. And then for my deadlift training, I've just been doing deadlifts with the axle if I can get one to play on. If not, I've been just deadlifting for high reps on the uh, regular barbell because it's AMRAP. Uh, deadlift in a minute, so just gotta try to build some capacity there. Uh, but yeah, how how it basically has been working is just one or two, you know, quote unquote big lifts. So it'd be like squat with the yoke attachments or yoke bar or something like that, and then uh, axle press, um, and then I would do some event specific work like farmer's walk or yoke, uh, uh, yoke walks or uh, I actually don't know if they call them that. I, this is just what I call them. So, or uh, <laughs> or a heavy sled push and pull medley, something like that. So that's basically how I've been training for the last two weeks. I mean, obviously it'd be nice to have more time to train. It just uh, hasn't worked out like that. Oh yeah. Okay. So event wise, there's uh, a max deadlift. I think it's 500 pounds for the lightweight men. Um, I'm gonna be at the 200 pound class. Although they did just combine it. It's like under 231. So I'm not gonna cut. I'm just gonna go weigh in at like. 202 or 205 or whatever I end up being. It's in the middle of the day, so I'm gonna eat normally and then just weigh in because it doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, so there's uh, an AMRAP deadlift at 500 pounds using an axle bar. And I asked Alan, I was like, why are you guys using the axle? You know, if it's from the floor, like what's the deal? He's like, yeah, so the bar doesn't give at all uh, like a normal barbell would. And then um, the plates don't roll. So, and obviously the, the thing is thicker, so it's a little bit forward. And I was like, I mean, weird flex, but okay, Alan. So. It's a one one minute, uh, as many reps as possible, it's at 500. I feel pretty confident about that because deadlifts. Um, so I think uh, the last time I, I've been, I trained this a few times um, over the past two weeks. I did 525 for a set of 10 at like an eight, and then I did 500 for 12 at an eight. And uh, yeah, so I'm pretty confident about that one. It should be okay. Although I wonder if they let, allow you to like touch and go, because I don't know how to do that. I mean, not efficiently anyway, so. We'll see how that goes. And then uh, the second event is a clean and press. Uh, I think most people are gonna be continental cleaning and pressing and I don't know how to do that. So I'm just gonna like muscle clean it and then strict press it because I'm pretty efficient at that. So I did 260, uh, 255 and 260. I've done that in the last two weeks and Alan seems to think that'd be pretty competitive. So, so then they have a yoke and farmer's walk medley. So it's 700 pounds on the yoke and then 300 pounds in each hand on the farmer's walk. So the first time I did the yoke was three days after my meet uh, and I was in Chicago and I loaded it up to 600 pounds and that felt fine. And then the next time I did it was two days after that uh, in Chicago, Alan was there and I loaded it up to 700 pounds and that felt terrible. And I think that the yoke was too high and my stance was too narrow and whatever, and I don't know what I'm doing. So that just, it felt bad. and. 
So that was my, my, those were my two times, um, you know, being exposed to the yoke, basically just like walking squats or something like that, but heavy. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. I've been able to practice on the farmer's handles a few times, so I'm more com uh, confident in that. Although I guess it's gonna depend on which farmer's handles they use. So I've just, I bought a pair from Rogue, which seemed fine. And um, yeah, it's hard to hold on to 300 plus pounds in each hand, but I've been doing it. So uh, I'm, I feel okay about that. The next one, the stones. Uh, I've touched stones once in my life. Alan was there and uh, there's definitely some skill to it. And then I just don't know what I'm doing. Um, but I can pick the stones up pretty well. Uh, it's just figuring out how to like readjust and get it over the, over the bar. Uh, and I guess you have, we have to carry them too. So I'm not very confident about that just given the fact I've only done it once. And then, uh, the last event I think is the truck pull push medley, which seems pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I've been just pushing and pulling a heavy sled to try to get ready for that. So we'll see. And my cardio is, you know, reasonably good. Uh, so overall I feel pretty confident. I mean, I, don't, I have no idea what to expect competition wise and I have no idea like how the flow of the meat's gonna go. So we'll see how all that shakes out. Uh, it should be a good time though. And uh, I don't know, I'm a pretty competitive guy. So see if I can uh, sneak in there for maybe a podium or something like that. Oh, so my favorite thing so far, uh, I don't know. Honestly, probably the, the farmer's handles have been like the most quote unquote fun uh, just because like, I don't know, you feel like more athletic just carrying something really, really heavy and it's hard and I don't know, it's like cool because you get to use a lot of weight. I like that. Uh, the yoke has been the least fun. <laughs> and I know I just said it's cool to like do this thing with a lot of weight or whatever and the yoke's even heavier, but it's just so uncomfortable. And I know that sounds like uh, whatever an excuse. I just, it's really uncomfortable. And I think the learning process for that maybe is a little longer than farmers, at least for me. So, uh, but yeah, that and the stones are, are cool. And I, I don't know, I just think it's gonna be fun to go out there and do something different and uh, see if we can uh, see if we can put in a good result. All right, just getting my gym bag ready. Um, about to leave for Sacramento in the morning, so I need to get this guy packed up and ready for a strawman meet. I uh, just realized I hadn't gone through it yet to make sure I have everything that I need, some special items for strongman. Yeah, I actually think there might be some powerlifting stuff still in here from the meet uh, two weeks ago. So this may be uh, kind of gross, but we'll, we'll see. We'll do it today. First thing, make sure I gotta have these straps. These are the new iron mine straps that I just got. They're not paying me to say these, but I love their straps. I have their so easy straps that I normally use for powerlifting for all my for supplemental poles when I need them. But these are the longer ones for strongman, which are handy for the axle. So I gotta make sure I have those. Water bottle. Uh, I'm actually, I'm probably gonna wear my deadlift shoes. Certainly on the axle deadlift, and then probably on the farmer's walk and yoke medley. I'll probably wear my Olympic shoes for the clean press and the stones, and then I'll probably wear these things. These are just like Metcons, whatever, for the truck pull push. I don't love those shoes. I'm just saying, I don't love them. I probably wouldn't train in them, uh, although I did pull 500 for 10 in them, and they were fine. And I think I pulled 515 for 10 in them too, and they were also fine, you know, but that's still, I don't love these shoes for just like general training. I was trying to push a heavy, heavy sled, and the shoe kept coming off, and I had these things like cinched down, like the heel kept coming off. Not, not terribly comfortable. Uh, let's see, Perrier X. This uh, YouTube video has been sponsored by Perrier X, I guess in some kind of way. But yeah, just some caffeine. Uh, use that, and then my Olympic shoes, watch shoes, whatever, cool. Sure that goes. What else is in here? I, I'm gonna bring my wrist wraps, even though I don't think I'm gonna use them for anything, but if I do wanna use them on the cleaning press, I haven't been using them, but maybe I'll, I'll do them just in case. I bought these, uh, I don't know what the other one is. Let's see, I'll bring these knee sleeves, probably need these just in case. I haven't worn them on the yoke or farmers, which I, I might, um, but uh, you know, if Alan says it's a good idea, but yeah, so I'll just bring them just in case. Let's see other stuff. Okay, yeah, so these are the the Rogue straps that I bought because I thought they were going to be long enough to use on the axle. They're like one inch short, so I am not going to bring those. I'll leave those out. And then these are my normal straps, the So Easy ones from Iron Mind. I've probably had these for like five or six years. Uh, I'm not going to bring them because I don't need them at Strongman Comp, but these are my favorite straps. Uh, Austin, I think, has the same ones, but they're, they make a, a longer version. There's like one or two inches longer, and I think he's got that. This 
has been in my bag since the powerlifting. What is it? Oh, ammonia, baby powder. Yeah, I'm probably not. I don't, I'm not gonna bring that. I think Alan's got tacky for me. I didn't buy my own. But what are these? Oh, just socks. Put those in there. Yeah, unlike most of my life, this is very unorganized. Oh, I brought a spare change of clothes. I still have a singlet. <laughs> And uh, my meat shirt. I think those things probably need to be washed. What do you guys think? Let's see what else. Is there. Oh, headphones, chapstick. Great. Well, I'll get packed up, get ready to go, and uh, blast off in the morning. I'll go see Alan. Up at Untamed Strength. Made it to the venue, repping the old vintage Barbell Medicine shirt. Uh, gonna get ready for rules briefing and uh, first event, things axle deadlift, so pumped about that. First strongman meet. Let's do it. Not my best one. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, oh, boom, with the bear. Yeah. What happened there, Jordan? Uh, not strong enough. <laughs> yeah, the yolk just, I mean, that's the third time I've ever touched the yolk. So. How many drops do you get? Four. Four total. Four total. So, so I how think, I mean, you saw like the first two, like just not knowing what to do. And then I'm like, oh, I figured it out. And I like, almost made the whole pass. And a farmer's walk, I was tired. In retrospective, I would have done more yoga. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying you're under trained. <laughs> I am saying for this specific type of strength, I am under trained. <laughs> I was like, pick it up, and it was like, off. yeah. Yeah. Nice job, dude. It's like a deadlift bar with stones. <laughs> Dig in? Yeah. Yeah. Like, like DMX. Slipping, I'm falling. Can't Dude, I up. wanted the shot of you pushing with the tire straight like this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Superman, bro. Yeah. yeah. So that was my first strongman competition. I had a ton of fun. All the events were completely different than anything I had done before, and I had a blast. Things I would do differently, I would train actually for a strongman competition, spend a longer amount of time preparing, doing the specific events, um, mainly just to improve my skill set uh, with respect to doing those actual movements. Uh, the axle deadlift obviously was fine because it's deadlifts, but the clean and press even, I would have preferred to learn how to do the continental clean and press. So my best strict press of all time is 295 pounds. But if I have to muscle clean it and then press it, uh, especially with an axle, the best I've ever done is 260, which was a week prior to the meet. The issue was this particular bar was like smoothly machined. Um, it wasn't like chrome or polished or anything like that, but it was just very, very smooth compared to the textured Rogue uh, bar that I had bought and practiced with. So ultimately, I would have liked to learn the 
continental clean and press because I think that I could do a lot better. I also would have liked to have known the rules a little bit more clearly on uh, the axle clean and press as far as how they do tie breakers. So in my mind, it was like a powerlifting meet where you could just do, you know, you have your three attempts and whoever's got the heaviest weight at the end of the three attempts is the winner. And if there's a tie, they go on body weight or just everyone gets the same amount of points. Um, in strongman, it the tie is broken by who opened heavier. So I opened at 180 just because I wanted to take all three attempts and my plan was go from 180 to 220 and then if 220 felt great I was going to go to 260 because they were taking 20 pound jumps but I felt pretty confident on my press. 220 felt okay but the uh, texture of the bar I just didn't feel confident in being able to muscle clean 260. So even though a lot of us tied at 240 I lost the tiebreaker which is why I got fifth in that event. Had I opened at 200 or 220 I would have actually taken second uh, or third in that event and won the overall uh, uh, for the lightweight men's division. So I wish I would have known that rule and I wish I would have learned how to do the continental clean press. The yoke in farmers carry medley actually went way better than planned. I got second in that event. Um, I would have liked to have practiced more on the yoke so that way I didn't drop it so many times so that I could have a fair shake at uh, doing the farmer's carry because I think I could have done better on that had I had an opportunity to drop it more than once. Uh, I just needed to get my grip set and yeah, I didn't do a good job of that. The stones actually went better than planned because uh, I've only touched stones once before and so being able to carry and then load 200 to 240 was pretty good for me. The last stone, I was actually surprised that I couldn't pick it up. Um, yeah, I decided to use uh, medical tape around my forearms because I was told that that would help with the, the tacky that was already on the stones and from the other competitors and that I would like that. However, my forearms got sweaty and the things just slid down. I, I wish I wouldn't have used them because every time I tried to pick up that last stone, it was just kind of like <laughs> pulling down. So. That was a mistake, um, and I would have obviously liked to practice with the stones more, but uh, I was just really surprised to not be able to pick it up because I've picked up a heavier stone than that before with no tacky, no nothing. I just, yeah, the, the medical tape was just sliding on there. And then on the, the truck pull and push, that actually went really well. I don't think that I could have prepared any better for that. I did well on that. The shoes that I had, those Nike Metcon, Flyknit, whatever the heck they are, Nike's definitely not paying me to say this because I do not like those shoes, um, even for other sort of general training, you know, for like a training sneaker. Um, I think they're much better options. I prefer the Metcon 1 or Metcon 2 if I have to stick with the Nike uh, or the Innovates. Those are like my preferred um, sort of just general training shoe if I'm not going to wear a weightlifting shoe or, or something like that or a deadlift specific shoe. At the meet, uh, at this competition, I probably should have just worn my deadlift shoes. They're a little stickier. Those Nikes were like just sliding all over the place and my heel was trying to come out of the thing even though they're the correct size and I had them cinched down. And it's not the first time I've had that problem. I just thought that they needed to break in, but yeah, the not my favorite, not my favorite shoes. But getting second on that event and second overall, I you know can't be unhappy with how I did, and I had an absolute blast. So I want to thank Alan Thrall and Robert Strahan for putting this uh, meet on at Untamed Strength in Sacramento. It was great. I'll probably do another one uh, maybe sometime early next year. But before then, I have to move to San Diego, and I actually have a powerlifting meet coming up in October that's in San Diego. So. That's gonna be a good time. Hopefully a full meat prep can help me PR my total and all my lifts. That would be a good day for me. And so I'm looking forward to that. But as always, thank you so much for watching the Barbell Medicine YouTube channel. We bring modern medicine to strength and conditioning. I'm Dr. Jordan Feigenbaum. If you dug the video, make sure to leave a comment below, hit like, subscribe for all the latest content, share it with your friends. We'll see you guys next time. Our cameraman. What I do, vlogging his life. Yeah, the hype team. That's what I do. Yeah, and hype team. Yeah. Thank you guys for coming out. And this is chocolate. Free buckets of cocaine. Oh, this is for the ladies right here.